Hey, I'm Miss Becky, the Chester County Fine Arts Elementary teacher, and I have a new fun art challenge for you. The show must go on. Happy Fine Arts Friday. It is time for a new fun art challenge. Today, I'm going to be focusing on theater. See, I don't just teach art, I teach music, art, and theater. So our focus is going to be on theater today and I'm super excited, it's one of my favorite subjects. So today's challenge is going to be the Theater Mask Challenge. People all around the world have used masks to help create their stories. See, every mask can be a completely new character. Today, we're gonna learn about the ancient Greeks and the Italians who used masks a long time ago. The ancient Greeks used masks to help us tell characters apart. In ancient Greek plays, there were only three actors playing every single part. There was also a giant chorus in the play too. Those three actors who wore masks played the heroes and the villains, the gods and the goddesses, the normal people. And the audience had to be able to tell them apart. So each of their characters had a different mask. These masks were also very important for hearing. The Greeks performed in giant amphitheaters, a lot like a football stadium today. And there were no microphones, no sound systems, so how do you think those people way in the back could hear the folks on the stage? Well, the mask that they wore had a megaphone shape to them. So they started really small at the mouth and got bigger and bigger so that the sound the actors were making traveled all the way back. When the Italians started using masks, they used them for their small traveling shows that used to go all throughout Italy. Now, at this time, people in Italy didn't all speak the same version of Italian, so the masks were used to help the audience tell one character from another. When the Italians started using masks, their audience weren't far, far away like the ancient Greek audiences were. They were right up close. So the Italians cut off the bottom part of their mask so that their audience can see their mouths and the words that were coming out. Now, we still use masks today. One famous show I can think of that uses masks beautifully is The Lion King. Along with puppetry, The Lion King show uses masks to represent different characters. So just like I said, Ancient Greek masks are the full face masks, but Italian masks only cover their eyes and their nose. I'm gonna show you the masks I've made and you tell me whether it's an ancient Greece mask or an Italian mask. This is a mask my dad got for me when he was in Europe. If I put it on my face, can you tell me what kind of mask it is? It's an Italian mask, great job. Would this be an ancient Greek mask or an Italian mask? Because it's a full face, it would be ancient Greek. Great job. Now this is one you can print off using the links below. Tell me, what kind of mask is this one? An Italian mask, it's only half the face. Great job. So now here's the challenge. I want you to create your own theater mask. You can use paper or cardboard. You can use colors like crayons or markers or paint or glitter. Anything you have lying around your house to create your own theater mask. You can make your mask a person or an animal. You can make it something that you created from your imagination. Once you're done making your theater masks, I would love to see them. So take a picture of it and ask your parents to post it on social media using the hashtag theater mask challenge. I've listed some mask templates right below this video. You're welcome to use those to print out and to decorate for your theater mask challenge. That's all we've got for this edition of our fun art challenges. So until then, see you, love you, bye. 
Who be or not to be? That is the question. <laughs>